Let me tell you something. This feels awesome to hold. It actually makes you want to smash things up with it, which is lucky because today that's exactly what we're doing. Brain food. Random stimulation for the brain. So last week we built this really nice Thor hammer and the whole idea was that I take something from a film that's a prop or a replica weapon and turn it into a real one. We did that by casting it as one solid mass of fiberglass and the end result is a Mjolnir that weighs about 5 kilos or 11 pounds. That should give us plenty of attacking force, but crucially you can still swing it around just like in the films. But the real test is what happens when we put the hammer down. Okay, so the internet will never forgive us if we don't pound the wasp melons. But this time we're going to compare with three different things and see what the impact is. This is a 16 ounce claw hammer, pretty much standard, popular with builders and psychopaths all over the planet. A firm favorite. Surely the baseball bat needs no introduction, occasionally used for sport in the UK, but the rest of the time for sorting out disputes with the neighbours. Don't judge me, you know what I'm talking about. And finally, a homemade Thor hammer to see if it can do a better job than the classics. And don't worry, I'll be going full beans. Well, trying to anyway. No surprises, we're in. I sort of expected it to stick in a little bit, but it didn't. It absolutely shattered it. But there's another bit of it down there. There you go, that's the target to beat. That seemed to have more generally destructive force than the hammer. The hammer was more precise, that was just, well, nasty. I don't know if this will hit harder, but damn it feels good. Holy crap! was a hell of an impact uh yeah well, that's it guys that's all i could salvage of that watermelon it's definitely done a better job on it and the rest of it's just splatter everywhere watermelons are fun but believe it or not coconuts are the closest stand-in for a human skull in fact, as little as 14 to 70 joules can fracture a coconut, with 18 to 100 pretty much guaranteeing massive trauma. Definitely the sort of impact that's going to raise an eyebrow. Split it remarkably clean, I have to say. Not bad. Well, I actually hit that a lot better than I thought I could, and it has shattered it into much more pieces than the hammer, so uh, a lot more force there. Whether we can beat it, I don't know. Well, there you go, guys. That's pretty conclusive. Definitely do not want to be hit with Thor's hammer. I know what you're thinking, coconuts on their own are all very well, but it's too perfect. So that's why we've got this. This time we've got the coconut in a little bit of 10% ballistic gel. We've got roughly a quarter of an inch of padding to simulate the flesh there and it's just got that little bit of cushioning that perhaps a real human head would have rather than just a bare coconut. Let's see how we go. Mm. 
Now that was devastating. Absolutely cataclysmic. All oh, the brain juice is seeping out there from the bottom as well. Yeah. No, that's dead. Very dead. Okay, but what if the hammer missed the old melon and hit us on the chest instead? Let's find out. Okay, so we've got a 10% FBI grade ballistic gel mix. Here we've got some real ribs from pork ribs, I think they are. And then down here, just to make things a little bit more interesting, we've got a fake heart made from a balloon with some dye in it. So if the shock wave goes through, manages to break these ribs and we rupture that, we'll have some indication of the sort of damage that's taken place. That would have been a very bad day if you had that. I didn't get any broken ribs. I think it, this stuff cushions the blow a little bit more than perhaps it should do, but the heart's ruptured. The gel is absolutely split it. That's a bad day. Damage to the hammer, as you would expect, is pretty much barely minimal. We've got a little bit of light scuffing on this corner, a few impact marks, the odd scratch, but nothing worth shouting about. It's still really, really good. Well, I don't know what you guys thought, but for me, my weapon of choice, definitely the Thor's hammer. So much more impact with this thing, an incredible amount of force. Well that's it for this time guys, I hope you enjoyed that and if you did please smash like, share and subscribe. And if you do sub up remember to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future. And if you have any ideas for something to test those hammer on, let me know in the comments. Meanwhile why not join the gang on Facebook and Instagram for some behind the scenes stuff. Thanks for watching, see you next time.